Good evening. I know of a family, a black family. They seem like nice people. They have a child. They used to live in a black neighborhood. It, it was diverse. It's ethnically diverse, but it, it, it had a lot of black people. And the school system is heavily black. And you also have some Asian. But it's, it, it's a, a poorer community. They had the opportunity to move and they had the child, they moved to a predominantly white neighborhood and in a white school system for their child. Now this family, this black family loves their child, do things with the child, you know, go out places, vacation, buy toys, and you know, all those things that uh, a child would like. But as the child got older and entered college, the child did not seek out black women. They sought out white women. Now, I started to question and that family started to question, how could something like that happen? We were, you know, they were good people. And why wouldn't this black child, male child, not like his own? So this video will be just my opinion about what happened and what you can possibly do or things to consider. Now, I think it's very good to educate your children regardless of gender, to educate your children. And when you select a school, for one thing, you have to consider the repercussions of moving into a predominantly white area and a white school system. When you left your old neighborhood and moved to a new one, now the child in their mind is wondering, why did we move? What was wrong with where I lived? Unless you had to move because your job relocated you. But when you don't explain why you're moving and the whole point, and let's say you communicated to that child, well, I want to send you into a good school system. Now, nothing wrong with that on the surface, but if that good school system, system is not the same race as the, that child, what's communicating with that child is a black or a non-white school system is not good, and that a white school system or white neighborhood is good. So, if whites and things what whites have are good, then the, the children are good for dating and not your own. I think that's what happened. You communicate to your children indirectly by the choices you make for your family. And when you move your child into a white district, you're telling that child in screaming ways, even though you're not screaming, but it's, it's, a, it's a strong message that you're not good and to leave and avoid being with your own. And so what happens? The kid learns by example and not seek out his own, to not identify with his or her own. So those who have children, if you're a black family, I suggest that you homeschool. Because one thing that child's going to say, hey, my family loves their own family, and that's why I'm home. That they love me that much, and that they're nurturing me one-on-one, -on -one because they, they really love me, and, and they're giving me all this attention. And if you have a curriculum that enforces 
their value because of who and what they are and to teach their history, I think that child would have a better outlook about themselves and the community. And also, let's say, church. Maybe to be in a church that has people that look like the child or that have and you know their outlook to be the same you know so everything is reinforcing what what you what outcome you want so if you want your child to date black to date of the opposite sex then you have to groom them for that groom them for you know um, how they dress so that the person of the opposite sex will find that you know that that's uh, attractive that that um, you know they have an education so they could create a job for themselves something so everything is all reinforcing each other and to have a religious system that uplifts the black family if you're in a religion or tradition that says that God doesn't look like you and God is the a white God then again it's indirectly saying hey I want to be associated associated with the race that God is so if your God looks like you then again that is reinforcing you and your family and your community let me know what you think and you could comment below and to share this video with friends and other family. And you could subscribe to my channel and to give me the thumbs up. Take care and be in awareness. That's the only way how you could really preserve the black family. Bye-bye.